police say it is case closed on a murder mystery from last month. It's a case involving stunning video revealed only on Fox 2 of a suspect hiding inside a crime scene. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes explains how investigators have now captured four suspects who face charges in a reported drug deal gone wrong. As many people were dealing with storms and flooding on July 16th, I stand by myself. North County Police Cooperative Officers in Pine Lawn were investigating a murder in the street. A frenzied crowd showed up on Oakwood Avenue surrounding the police tape on all sides. Breaking through at one point, investigators were interested in this white car at the crime scene with covered windows and a distraught driver. But by the time they got a search warrant, Major Ron Martin said they needed to make a safety adjustment. We couldn't search the car here on the scene. The scene was too volatile. We wanted to remove the car from the scene, get it away. Officers called a tow truck and good thing they followed it because look at this. A man jumped out of the car with a rifle. He was arrested. The St. Louis County Prosecutor's Office says that was 23-year-old Damon Linnell Patrick, who's charged with second-degree murder and attempted robbery in what police say was a drug deal turned shootout. Since our initial report, North County Police Cooperative officers say they have arrested four additional suspects in what probable cause court documents describe as a deal to sell Percocet pills in exchange for marijuana and cash. Arrested and charged with second-degree murder are 30-year-old Alec Glover, 21-year-old Dontress Woods, and Larissa Anderson, whose age is not listed in court records. Charges are second-degree murder since a sudden shootout may not indicate premeditation. A fifth defendant is 18-year-old Erlen Owens, according to police, who's charged with hindering prosecution. The co-op's major, Ron Martin, told Fox 2, quote, we are very proud of our investigative team at the co-op. They worked tirelessly throughout the investigation, which resulted in identifying everyone involved. Police are not yet naming the man who died. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.